Every October 7, the Roman Catholic Church celebrates the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, known for several centuries by the alternate title of Our Lady of Victory. The feast was in honor of a 16th century naval victory that secured Europe against Turkish invasion. According to Dominican tradition, in 1206, then young priest Dominic de Guzman was at the monastery of Our Lady of Prui, in France, attempting to convert the Albigensians back to the Catholic faith. He had little success until one day he received a vision of the Blessed Virgin, who gave him the rosary as a tool against heretics. This gave rise to the title Our Lady of the Rosary. The spread of the rosary is attributed to the preaching of the Dominicans, the order founded by Saint Dominic years after his vision of the Blessed Virgin. The Turkish Ottoman Empire had occupied the Byzantine Empire by 1453, bringing a large portion of the Christian world under Islamic law. For the next hundred years, the Turks expanded their empire westward and asserted their naval power in the Mediterranean. In 1565, the Turks attacked Malta with their sight set for an eventual invasion of Rome. Though they failed to invade Malta, the Turks captured Cyprus by the fall of 1570. The following year, Pope Pius V organized a coalition called the Holy League, which included major Catholic powers particularly the Spanish Empire, the Italian Maritime Powers, and other smaller Christian kingdoms. On October 7, 1571, the Holy League sailed from Messina, Sicily, and met a powerful Ottoman fleet in the Battle of Lepanto. Knowing that the Christian forces were at a distinct material disadvantage, Pope Pius V called for all of Europe to pray the Rosary for victory and led a Rosary procession in Rome. Ship crew members on more than 200 ships prayed the Rosary in preparation for the battle, as did Christians throughout Europe, encouraged by the Pope to gather in their churches to invoke the Virgin Mary against the daunting Turkish forces. After about five hours of fighting on the northern edge of the Gulf of Corinth, off western Greece, the combined navies of the Papal States, Venice, and Spain defeated the Ottoman navy, all but 13 of the nearly 300 Turkish ships captured or sunk, effectively stopping a possible invasion of Italy. Although the Ottoman Empire was able to build more ships, it never fully recovered from the loss of trained sailors and marines, and was never again the Mediterranean naval power it had become the century before when Constantinople fell. With the astounding win, Pope Pius V instituted the Feast of Our Lady of Victory in order to commemorate the victory at Lepanto, which he attributed to the Blessed Virgin Mary. In 1573, Pope Gregory XIII changed the name of the feast to Feast of the Holy Rosary, to be celebrated on the first Sunday of October. In 1671, the observance of this feast was extended by Pope Clement X to the whole of Spain, and later Pope Clement XI, after the victory over the Turks gained by Prince Eugene in the Battle of Petroveradin on August 5, 1716, known as the Feast of Our Lady of the Snows, commanded the Feast of the Rosary to be celebrated by the Universal Church. Pope Leo XIII raised the feast to the rank of a double of the second class and added to the litany of Loreto the invocation, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. In 1913, Pope Pius X changed the date to October 7 as part of his effort to restore the celebration of the Liturgy of the Sundays. In 1960, under Pope John XXIII, it was listed under the title Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary of the Rosary. Under the 1969 liturgical reforms of Pope Paul VI, Our Lady of the Rosary is mentioned as a mandatory memorial. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.